Firefighter Daigo, Rescuer in Orange Episode 11 begins with Yuki attempting to climb up a building amidst a cluster of buildings on fire. She approaches a room with six female survivors and offers to help them. The scene switches to Daigo and Shun preparing meals for the rest of the squad. Daigo ponders about Yuki being the survivor of his father's hotel accident. Just then, Shun thanks him for his consideration of him and Yuki, but Daigo changes the subject and focuses on cooking. Surprised, Shun taunts him, asking if he also likes Yuki. This angers Daigo, and he grabs Shun by the collar, creating a scene. Following that, Shun checks Daigo's locker and wonders why the number hasn't gone up. He figures Daigo has been struggling with something. Shun recalls the interaction with Daigo that happened when Shun was in the hospital. The scene switches to a road tearing open. The rescue team is alerted, and they quickly make their way to the spot. On the way, Daigo apologizes to Shun for his behavior earlier that day. Shun also apologizes for crossing the boundary, but they are stopped by Mr. Yamagami. As they reach the site of the calamity, the two repel down into the pit and begin to search for survivors. Initially, it was only meant to be an inspection, but they spot a hand sticking out of the ground and rush to help the two people. They alert the rest of the team, and Shun begins digging out while Daigo looks for a metal pipe to shove down and let them breathe. Shun is happy to hear them breathe and continues to dig, but the sand keeps pouring in. Daigo is unable to hear breathing, but still continues clinging to the small possibility that they are still alive. The DMAT department also arrives and prepares to help at the end of Firefighter Daigo, Rescuer in Orange Episode 11. The Episode Review Firefighter Daigo, Rescuer in Orange Episode 11 marks the beginning of another rescue mission, and this time, the situation looks much more dire than any of the rescue missions we've seen until now. It has us questioning if the survivors are even alive, buried underground. Our heroes, Shun and Daigo, head into the pit. At first, Daigo shows great observation skills to spot the hand in all the darkness. He also uses quick thinking by breaking off a metal pipe to enable the survivors to breathe. However, the episode still maintains suspense and keeps us on edge, with the survivors showing signs of deterioration while Shun and Daigo barely manage to scratch the surface. 